So today we're talking about the angle sum theorem, or actually, yeah, we're talking mostly about angle-angle similarity. What does this say, the other one? I got a different paper. Oh, look, I got the wrong title up there. Hey, talk, I'll talk to my secretary about fixing that. No, my secretary is me. No, I haven't finished. I, I did not finish passing out homework. I'm going to do this, and when you're working on I'll homework, I'll do it again. I'll do it so, uh, this is far harder than the homework will be. The whole angle angle similarity says if two angles in one triangle are the same as two angles in another triangle, then the triangles are similar. What's this difference between a similar triangle and a congruent triangle? Okay, which is which? Um, congruent are equal. Congruent are exactly the same size triangles, whereas similar triangles share the same angles, but they can be different sizes. Does that make sense? So, uh, these exercises, which are ones you'll commonly see, are really more about proportions than they are necessarily about angles. And I made a little table there to help you get it. The table will get you right all the time. So this says a street lamp casts a shadow 31.5 feet long, while an 8-foot street sign casts a shadow 14 feet long. What is the height of the street lamp? It's a proportional relationship because look at these two triangles. Do they both share this angle? Yes. Is that angle the same on both of them? What is that angle? Measure on both of them. 90. 90 degrees. Look at this angle. Do both triangles use this angle? Yes. It's part of both triangles, right? Mm -hmm. So the two triangles share two angles in common, which means all three angles are the same size or the same degrees, right? Mm -hmm. The triangles are the same. So we can use a shadow technique, and I'd love to go gone outside, but we don't have that kind of a day right now. Sorry. There's no shadow out there at all. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for a day when we have it. So, so let's, let's fill in the table. I made a table. We do this all the time, and you've seen it all the time, is one fraction, like AB equals DC. <laughs> It's a proportion. Oops, sorry. Okay. So let's fill in. What's the height of the lamp? Uh, the height of the lamp is uh, uh, 8 feet. It's uh, unknown, isn't it? Yeah, unknown. Yes. Okay, what's the height of, what's the shadow length of the lamp? 14 feet long. Of the lamp? 31.5. 31.5. What's the height of the sign? And what's the length of the shadow of the sign? So what I've got here is I've got a ratio. X over 31.5 equals 8 over 14. Rancy. Okay, but you've played with him every time you've walked by. Now, how can I solve this proportion in the most easy what manner? Cross multiplication is the easiest way to do this. So what's x times 14? 14x. So 14x. What's 31 times 8? A number. It isn't. 31.5 times 8. All right, so solve 31.5 times 8. 252. Are you sure? Yes. I have it. So 14x equals 252. Now, Tyler, you're doing awesome. Don't blur it out. How can I find out what X is right now? Five. What's the easiest way at your fingertips? Five. Five. 252 by 14. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can either do that and solve if you need to, but right now, really, all you got to do is 252 divided by 14, which is a lot less typing than in solve. Uh, oh. oh, I got it. 18. 18. I didn't say blurt it out. 18. 18. So what is x equal? 18. So this side is 18 feet. That's it. That's easy. Can we have our homework?
Let's do this one down here. So, a 5.5 foot woman casts a shadow that's 3 feet longer than her son's shadow. The sun casts a shadow that's 13.5 feet long. How tall is her son? Well, let's do it. How high is the woman? 5.5. How long is her shadow? Uh, three. Pay attention. There are two here, aren't they? You got to add these two together. Remember, she's three feet longer than her son. Okay, so what's the height of her son? And his shadow? Uh, 13.5. Do cross multiplication. So 16.5x equals 5.5 times 13.5. Slow down. Slow down. So, the first part of this, and I will tell you guys doing math, because you have a calculator, realistically at this point, you can just divide both sides by 16.5, and you'd have x equals. So, put in your calculator 5.5 times 13.5 divided by 16.5. Mm-hmm. Put in your calculator. Trayson, get your calculator out. Stop writing your name and do this. You all getting that? So 5.5 times 13.5 divided by 16.5. What does that equal? 4.5. So the sun is 4.5 feet tall. I'm sorry. It's big up there. What about it? I know. I'm glad that you saw that. <laughs> All right. Shh. Let's do the very last one, and then I'll give you the homework. A telephone pole casts a shadow shown in the diagram. At the same time of day, Sandy, who's five feet tall, casts a shadow eight feet long. Find the height of the telephone pole. So what's the height of the pole? That's our unknown. We just put X. What's the shadow of the telephone pole? Think about what you're doing. 32. Does it show that as a whole? 40. Who said 32 over there? Lizzie. Why? Why did you say that? Because, because this 24 only applies to this leg. It doesn't apply to this. So together it's 32 feet. How tall is Sandy? She is five feet tall. What how long is her shadow? Her shadow is eight feet long. How do I solve this at this point? Cross multiply. Melanie, you follow along? Getting this? Tyler, how do I solve this now? Cross multiplication. 8 times x, which is 8x, and 32 times 5. Thank you. Now, so 8x equals 160, right? Yeah. And now all I got to do is divide by 8, both sides. 20. So x equals 20. 20 feet. So the telephone pole is 20 feet tall. Shh. Angle angle similarity says if two angles in a triangle are the same as two angles in another triangle, then the triangles are similar. How many angles will you need to find out at a minimum in two triangles? Uh, six. Five, six. Who said it? Two. Said what? Four. Four. I did. Four, because now what happens if you find two in one and two in the other, but they don't, one of them matches, but the other one doesn't? It's not similar. 
We don't know yet, do we? No. You have to find that. So you may have to go to finding five angles. When you're done, do yourself a favor. If they're similar, always label them. Does that make sense? Four, five. 